Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, for the first time since last summer, tracking some scattered thunderstorms. Temperatures in the upper 50s away from the coastline, some brief downpours. Here's live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Haven't used a lightning tracker since last summer, but lightning strikes now uh, into southeastern Massachusetts right now near uh, Taunton, Mass. You see some heavier downpours in the uh, southern part of the state right now. And these are tracking uh, rapidly to the uh, north and east, so they don't last long in any one given location, but certainly producing uh, some heavy rain, big puddles perhaps even some localized minor street flooding all tracking off to the north and east right now at about 35 miles per hour. We'll keep this off and on wet weather throughout the entire night. You see some fog along the south shore. There's a dense fog advisory in effect until midnight tonight for coastal areas. Taking a look at some of the visibilities right now and they're uh, essentially a mile or less in some cases near the south shore, but other times it improves a little bit after a rain shower goes by. So rain and fog for tonight and showers linger into Friday. It's a cooler day. Temperatures about 10 degrees cooler than what we had um, this afternoon. Most of the showers during the morning, but even Friday afternoon, I would keep the umbrella nearby. It does turn colder, unfortunately, for the weekend. We'll show you that in the seven day future cast. The threat tracker for tonight, we're going to keep it in the uh, medium category. The combination of some locally dense fog across the coastline, some brief downpours, and some widespread rain. It'll certainly reduce travel at times. Getting a little better for Friday despite some showers in the morning. It's not that it's going to be a sunny and dry day, but we'll see some showers. And then Saturday, uh, the cooler to colder weather makes a return. In Providence right now with rain and fog, not quite 60, but close to it. 57, a lot of melting taking place on a gusty south and southwest breeze at 21. So that wind is coming in off the ocean that is running very cold. That's why Newport's a good 10 degrees cooler than Providence. This time of year with a cold ocean and an onshore flow, uh, flow a coastal areas really have a hard time warming up. There's more precipitation off to our west that has to come through overnight and into Friday, so we'll keep wet conditions going for the next roughly 12 to 18 hours. Futurecast starts off at 8 o'clock this evening. Temps in the 50s with rain and fog. Flecks of yellow and orange indicating at times some downpours, perhaps an isolated thunderstorm. Here we are tomorrow morning at around 7, 8 a.m. with temperatures at around 40 and scattered showers. During the afternoon, temps will hold in the mid-40s, and every now and then you get some green coming through. This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon with scattered showers right up until tomorrow evening, though it does dry out later Friday evening and Friday night. So rain and fog tonight. Temperatures initially mild away from the coastline in the 50s. Showers continue on Friday morning. Temperatures, though, between 40 and 45 and holding in the mid-40s tomorrow afternoon. We'll still keep the umbrella on standby. It does turn colder or cooler over the weekend. Saturday is not a stormy day, but there may be a nuisance rain or snow shower. Not a big deal. It is bright and cool on Sunday. Sunday and dry. That would be the pick day with temperatures topping out between 40 and 45. So at times some downpours this evening and the rumble of thunder. You can always track it on an interactive radar on the Channel 12 weather app. You can download it on your smartphone and on your tablet as well. All right. Well, at least the rain is washing away this. Yeah, a lot of melting today. All right. Thanks, Tony. And now here's